hi everyone in this tutorial we will talk about uh, designing uh, streamlit applications and there are a bunch of methods which you can use for designing but uh, in this tutorial we will talk about the css so we will actually adjust the css styling of our streamlit web app and for this tutorial i will use my url shortener application which we have developed in the previous tutorials so without further discussion let's jump right into the tutorial and first of all the first thing that you need to do is to run the, your application in order to understand the css of the web app so just right here s-t-r-e-a-m so i will skip this part okay so i hope that uh, you will get bored during writing this thing and this is our simple url shortener application looking very very boring okay and in this tutorial we will change the coloring the styling and everything else of this web app so first of all you need to inspect it okay so just right click hit this inspect okay and this will open this html and css of this whole thing okay so this is the html part and down here you will see the css okay so we are concerned with this part as well and we are concerned with this part as well okay so first of all we need to change the url shortener title okay so just right click inspect element and okay so this is the division for this thing okay and then we have this and then we have the span okay so this span is basically responsible for this thing okay so first of all we need to extract the, the span okay so the class name and then with the help of this class name we will actually change the css of this title okay so let's copy this class name here and open your vs code again and now let's create a css file separately so just to name it something like uh, maybe d-e-s-i-g-n-i-n-g designing.css okay whatever you want just hit enter and now we need to write our css so if you go to this uh, w3schools okay so it's an awesome website regarding html and css although they have added this sql javascript and everything else but it is known for html css okay so uh, if you want to learn about uh, html and uh, css then it's a perfect website obviously here we will learn how to define a css styling so when you click on this css home okay so make sure that you should on this css tab and here in the first example you will see that this is the way of defining a css so you need to create a separate file okay and then inside that separate file you need to define your properties your coloring your styles and everything else like this so this is our tag name okay and this is the property which is the css property obviously and this line basically allow us to change the background color of the body so now if you compare this part with our this inspect element here uh, instead of body we have this span tag so just open this vs code again and first of all we need to write here this spa and span okay and now in this example we have only one body tag but what if you have multiple body tags which is obviously not possible but uh, in our case we can have multiple span tags so how to distinguish between multiple spans so for this purpose we need to have uh, some sort of difference as well and in this tutorial i will use this class of this span in order to distinguish between this span and every other span okay so uh, how to embed classes so it's a very simple process in html css dot operator basically represents our class name while if you have id then you can uh, represent your tag using that id and for this purpose you need to use the number sign okay but in this tutorial our tag doesn't have any kind of id so we need to use this class name and for this purpose i will use dot operator so after the tag name you need to put this dot okay and then you need to define the class name so just copy the class name and paste it and now as you can see we have two classes okay so this is my class one and then this is my class two so you need to replace this white space with dot again okay so just put here dot and now we have a proper reference to our span tag now again let's come to this w3 schools okay so i am not sponsoring this website but yeah it's a perfect website if you want to learn html and css now we have completed this part so in the next step we need to put these parentheses so just open vs code again 
and they put these parentheses like this and now inside these parentheses we need to define our properties so let's suppose that uh, i want to change the background color of this url shortener title okay so just go to css again okay and here you have bunch of chapters okay so just go to this background chapter okay and uh, here you will find a lot of stuff related to background so background color background image background repeat and everything is background so we need to change the background color okay so you just need to copy this line okay so copy it and uh, paste it right here and now you need to define your color name so you can use here the hex code as well or you can define the name of the color as well okay so for example let's go with uh, something like um, blue okay blue blue okay blue violet i think it will look perfect okay let's save it okay and now if i reload this application you will see nothing okay and the reason is that now we need to attach this designing.css file with this url shortener.py file so how to attach it so the answer is very simple you need to use the markdown and in this case i will go with markdown although there are some other options as well but uh, i think uh, those will be complicated and we will discuss them as well in the upcoming tutorials but for now let's go with markdown okay so just right here uh, st dot markdown but before i actually write the markdown i need to import this uh, design.css file as well so just remove this and write here wrd width okay and then op and open and i need to open this designing.css okay so just write here de s i g n i n g designing.css okay and i will open it as my uh, s o u r c source underscore design okay so source design and then i will write st dot m a r k markdown okay and uh, now here how to embed your css files inside the html so again open the browser and go to this html tab okay and here under this html css chapter you will find that what is css or so it's a cascading style sheet okay which is used to format the layout of web page okay and then using okay so inside the using you have three different ways to embed your css inside your html coding okay so one method is to use this inline feature and we are using this inline feature in our web app and that is if i open vs code here as you can see we are adding our css using the inline feature okay and with the help of the style keyword i am adding the css okay so this text align is basically a css property okay and this is the first way of adding css and then we have an other way and that is internal and in this tutorial we will use this is internal okay and then you have external as well but uh, i will discuss this external method in the upcoming tutorials when we will use the uh, streamlit components okay and in that tutorials i will discuss this external but for now uh, just stick with this internal okay so how to use this internal so just come to this internal and here you will see the whole definition and everything else i'm not interested in these words the only thing which i need to know is how to add this style okay so first of all they are creating a style tag okay and then they are closing this style tag and then they are actually adding the css okay so i will go with this method okay so just open vs code again and here inside the markdowns uh, i will go with formatted string okay and uh, then just put these double quotes and write here a style tag okay so just write here style style and we need to close this style tag as well so just close style style and now as we have mentioned here the formatted string so we need to pass the content of this design.css file here and for this purpose i just need to write here source okay so just put these parentheses and then write here s o u r c source dot underscore design and i want to read it as well so just write here dot r e a d read okay and unsafe allow html to true okay so make sure that you should put this property to true otherwise this will not work okay so let's open the app again 
let's refresh it and now we have a cool output okay so this is how you can actually modify your streamlit web app so we have changed the background color of our web app okay and now for example if i want to change the text color as well so just right here and other property inside this design under dot css okay and that is c o l o r color okay and then put this colon but before i actually start working on the color i just need to put this semicolon here okay so don't forget this semicolon you need to put it otherwise you will get an error okay so color and then i need to define my color again you can pass here the uh, hex code or you can write the color name and in this case i will go with color name and i will say something like uh, l i g s t light maybe light blue light cyan and uh, i think i think which light will be good light yellow let's try it i'm very bad in colors but yeah let's try it and let's refresh this thing and see the output and yeah now i think it's looking perfect so here one thing that is quite weird for me is these edges okay so i think uh if i round these edges then my output will look better okay so again go to this w3 school and here go to the css borders and these are all borders okay and okay so here we have this rounded border so just click on this rounded borders and here we have these rounded borders okay so this is the method of adding rounded borders okay so just copy this property copy it and open vs code again go to design and paste it right here and uh, let's uh, refresh this and yeah now we have cool roundness in our borders okay so you can increase this roundness to something like a weird value maybe 20 okay so let's save it and let's uh, reload this application and yeah i think it's good and here one thing that i'm thinking is still missing is to add a line here okay so let's add a line so just go to this url shortener and beneath this url shortener heading let's uh, sorry let's write here st.mark down markdown okay and let's add a horizontal line let's save it and uh, let's reload this application and yeah now i have a horizontal line and now i need to modify this horizontal line as well and i need to change the color of this horizontal line to something else okay so you just need to right click and again go to inspect okay and this will open this type of uh, interface whatever you call it just open this division tag and open this division tag okay sorry and here you will find that we have this hr tag so hr tag basically represent horizontal row okay so if you go to this html and uh, if you search for something like uh, i hope it will be in styling maybe okay i don't know where it is but yeah this hr tag basically allow us to add a horizontal line okay and we need to modify this hr tag but as you can see here uh, for the this hr tag we do not have any kind of a class reference we do not have any kind of id okay and it is obvious that you will have more than one hr tag in your web app so how to distinguish between each tag so for this purpose i will use my this class this division tag because for this division tag i have a class reference okay so i will access this division tag and then with the help of this division tag i will access this hr tag and for this purpose i will use css selectors so again if you go to w3 schools and here you will find uh, i will give a link as well okay so here you will find the css elements element selector okay so uh, this is a whole documentation of css selector okay so you can see you can read it how to select 
one element based on the information of other elements and this is the example of css selector so first of all we will have a for one element and then we need to put this uh, greater sign or less than sign so if your element exists below that element you need to put this sign if your element exists about that element you need to put i think the other one sign okay so i don't know whether it's a greater sign or it's a less than sign but yeah this element will be under this element okay so if you replace this sign then this element will be under this element okay so this means that it will be above it or okay so i hope that you have understood the concept so we need to use the css selector met method so just open vs code again go to designing so first of all we need to access our div tag okay so just right here just copy this class name okay so copy it and right here div div okay and then dot operator paste the class name just uh, replace this white space with dot again and then our hr tag is uh, under this division tag so put this sign okay and then you need to define here the tag name and in this case my tag is this hr okay and then put this parentheses and now inside this parentheses i need to define my css properties and in this case i will use this background color property okay so just copy it and paste it right here let's save it and uh, let's reload this application and you will see that we will have a different color here and yeah our color of the line has changed okay so this is how you can actually change the color and css properties of a streamlit web app and i hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial and just play with these things so you can even change the uh, color of this button you can change the font uh, family as well so for example just go to this w3 school again and just go to the css fonts and here you will find different fonts okay and just copy this property copy it and if i want to change the font family of my uh, title so just paste this property here and let's define a font family and i will go with impact impact okay so this will look very weird but just ignore the output and let's reload this application and yeah our font has changed okay so now we have a very very weird output but yeah this is how you can change the font so i hope that uh, you have enjoyed this tutorial and play with these properties and i will see you in the next tutorial till that point bye bye